Hello everyone. I have this strange feeling that I'm starting something big now. As you can tell, my dream or my project, which starts from now and here, is to build a boat, 45 to 55 feet. And I'm now doing just a brief video. The situation is, I work as an architect in Finland here. And work sucks. Well, not. And uh, I have a dream of going sailing. And the problem is that, well, the architect's salary in Finland is not that great. I have a situation that I'm not able to buy a boat for many years. What if I build a boat and I make it how I want it? So I'm not restricted to the boats already out there and buying an old piece of crap and figuring how I could make something out of it. So I started designing a boat. There is something uh, special about this design. First of all, I want it to be able to be sailed single-handed. Big boat and single-handed is not easy to find unless you have all the electric and uh, things like that. Basically, it all starts from rigging. I think I have found a solution and it's called Cat Catch. It's two masted, freestanding masts. Not very common. There are some boats like this, but they are not very recent. Basically, it has two main sails, and that's it. No jam, no jib, no grinding. But also, what I want is to have this Exhaloon. And when combining these two features, Cat Catch and Exhaloon, well, there is no such a boat available. With these two things in mind, I started to sketch in my own boat. And here is the result for now. Remember, this is just a sketch, very early, early sketch that I'm working on. But I think there is something nice there. Okay, the boats I like. First one is the Moody 54DS, this boat here. I like this very much, but I think this is more like a luxury thing for an old gentleman. And then there is this another one. It's called uh, Garcia Explorer. This is a very sturdy boat. Aluminum construction and designing to go anywhere in the world. And I think my plan is to do something between these two. Then one very famous boat, the Amal, that has uh, the center cockpit. And one feature I really like about these is the steering position, as you can see here. And also the feature that the engine room is accessed from the cockpit and not from the inside. Basically every sailboat smells like a diesel. So. What do we have when we combine Moody 54, Garcia Explorer, and uh, Amel, and attach to the Cat Catch rig? That's something I want to build. What I need to do is to get the hull and the rig and the sail plan designing from professional sailboat designer. Basically what I need from them is the shape of the hull and the keel ballast, the rig and the sail plan, all the things under the water and all the things above the deck. I can design the rest by myself. And what I'm plan planning to do, I'm going to design the boat in such a way that almost every part can be manufactured by CNC router. It's going to be quite rational, but very modern. You can check my Pinterest account link down below okay I know there are you guys hundreds of you maybe thousands of you who like to follow these kind of things I would like to get a community 
around this. I'm going to document this as well as I can. And that's where I need you guys. What I have already done as an optimist did a, did a patron account link down below on there and this is mainly because of the camera equipment for now so I have only this iPhone right now so that's the first thing when documenting the things like this I need a good not not best but reasonable good equipment and I hope if people are interested of this they can help me with those things and of course all kinds of tips for how should I do the videos and uh, but I hope that the result will be the best documented sailboat building series ever done yeah that's my goal and also the financial thing I try not to get any loans for the boat but okay the price must go piece by piece over the years well my schedule right now is that uh, I will untie the lines seven to ten years I have done already rough estimate how this should go you can see link down below or there and please comment if there is something unrealistic things in there maybe one and a half year for doing the hull itself and uh, another year to doing the deck and uh, maybe two years of doing the interior and things like that. It's exciting, yeah, now starting this project. First step is to design the boat. I hope the design would be ready maybe next spring. I'm not going to update the sketching progress for a few videos now on. The second thing is to build the CNC router. I have already planned this quite well, I think. And the reason why I'm building it is because the, well, the commercial products are very expensive. I think I could uh, share this plan with everyone. Maybe I could manufacture actually a few of the parts. So you can purchase and that way support this project. You can download the CAD files down below. But okay. As a summary, we planned the boat together, I hope. We planned the CNC router and start to build that first. And maybe, just maybe, I don't know yet, I could build another boat at first. A small one. I came up with this uh, quite nice dinghy plan, which has a cat catch rig. And I think I'm going to order the plans for this. Here we go. This is the beginning. And this video is, well, somewhat boring, but hey, you have to start from somewhere. Subscribe to the channel and go to see the Patreon. Check my schedule. Have a comment and uh, see you hopefully soon.